you can understand me. Bloody hell, you can. Mummy would have been able to understand me. She found herself in the same situation I am in now with you. Not once, but several times. She was pretending not to know. We had a stream of women, but she just kept going. Not just for us children, but above all for you. She loved you, so she forgave. No matter what happened, she just wanted to be with you. But who are you? Who? That's what I always ask myself. You never gave anything. Not to her, not to me. Nothing. I gave everything to your music. Music, music, music. There's nothing else in your life but music and hardness. Never a caress, never a hug, never a kiss, nothing. You never knew what was happening with your children. Never knew if you were happy, if you were suffering, nothing. Everything was on mommy's shoulders. The only thing you would ever say to her was quiet melody. Mommy would explain to us, quiet, daddy is composing, quiet, daddy is resting, he has a concert tonight, quiet, daddy is on the phone with someone important, quiet, daddy has Stravinsky coming to the house later tonight, you wanted to be Stravinsky, you don't have a single drop of his genius. The only thing you knew was quiet melody. You don't know the first thing about my mother and even now, even now, you haven't even got her flowers for 10 years. And there was that letter. Even mommy never read it. You're wrong. She found it. But she read it. You probably don't even remember, but we do. The letter we found in which you professed your love for another man. Mommy had to bear that humiliation too. My necessary experimentation in sexual matters as you put it. Your experimentation in music wasn't enough for you, no? You needed to experiment in homosexuality too. And you didn't give a fuck about all the anguish you had to endure, so don't come telling me that you can understand me because you don't understand a fucking thing.